It's the health and fitness segment and today we're talking yoga. Why is it important for you to practice yoga? I mean, we, we've been told so many times that it feeds your mental capacity and also physically it has an impact on you emotionally. I mean everything literally and Kofa is here she's a seasoned yoga trainer and she's here to take us through some routines here and there. Hi Kofa. Hi, good to see you. Uh, yes good to How see you. How are you doing? You. Very well thank Very you. Well, happy eh? new year. I've oh, not seen the whole of this year. I know even last year I don't uh -huh. think I saw you. No. No okay. You've been running away from yoga. Yes. Oh no. Well, you saw you I saw you with your stomach. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Was yeah. pregnant on the that, day show. Yeah. Oh it was on the day show right. Yeah. But that was something else though. I know. How do you do that whilst pregnant? No, it's because I've been practicing before pregnancy. That okay. is why it was really easier for me to do the prenatal. So yeah. did you feel the baby kick or anything no, whilst you were doing that? No, the baby was actually enjoying it. And guess what? When it was my due date and it was delaying, I was able to induce myself through yoga. Huh? Yeah. And do yourself through yoga. Yes, yes, I did exactly. some poses. Yes, I did some poses for, for induction because I, I don't want them to induce me at the hospital with oh. that tablet. So I did some posing that will help. I mean, bring Wait, like the water. when you were in labor, or to no, break the water. No, to break the water. Okay. Okay. Yes, to break okay. the water, and mm. it was really good. Yeah. Uh huh. So was your breath easy? Because it was you, easy. You and do you remember the two other ladies yeah. I brought on set? Yeah. It was the same process, but it was really easy. So they were asking them at the hospital, Ah, what do you do? What, what do you do? 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 Because wow. everything was just open up. Hey, was no, when you said everything was everything. Open up. That, didn't, <laughs> that didn't come out right, man. Okay. <laughs> But, but I mean, talking about yoga, and today we're going to do a lot of that. Why is it important? Because some people will say, I can go to the gym, I can run, I can do a few other things, and I will be fit. Okay. But why yoga? Okay, so yoga, actually, I would, term, I would say it's a lifestyle. Mm. Unlike the gym that um, you choose, some people choose to go, mm -hmm. okay? But yoga is very important because you can add it into your daily activities. Okay. It's very simple because you can actually practice it anywhere you find yourself. Okay. Office, at work, even in the trot Yoga in the office. office yes, yeah. yoga in the office. But in you your don't, suit, in your You don't shirt. need a mat. You don't need, that's why we have but yoga for everything. You are wearing your corporate yeah. suit and uh -huh. all that. So how do you do it? Yes, so you just, I mean, I mean, you do the yoga according to your work, you know, the kind of work that you do. Oh. So if, for instance, you sit for a longer hour, there is yoga for your upper body okay. to adjust your back and then help your, I mean, oh, I your, your, your spine and all that so that at the end of the day, you don't feel tired when you get mm. home. We'll probably try a few of those for those <laughs> right. of you who are at work and watching us. Right. But for those of us who are home at the moment, I mean, when we wake up on a regular day, mm -hmm. what are the basic yoga steps that we can do? Okay, good. So when you are home mm. and you want to stretch yourself, you just have to either your mat or when you wake up from your bed, you don't want to get off, I mean, quickly mm. you, on your bed or on your mat. But your mattress has to be firm. It has it's to. The softer one so you can it actually do it on the floor. You don't actually yeah. need a, a mat or something. You okay. can actually do it on the. So you just rotate your shoulder. You lift your shoulder up. Hey, sh please don't round your back. <laughs> <laughs> so you lift it up gently. So okay. you just relax. Just relax your body. Lift your shoulders up. Good. And drop your shoulder blade behind. So when you drop it slowly, you feel you drop it and you hold it there, Cookie. You hold it there. Yes, relax. Relax your hands. Good. So if you do it right, you will feel a, a stretch at your back. Then you lift your hand from that side all the way up. Good. Reach out as if someone is pulling you from the top. And relax. Breathe. Ah. I wish the camera could pan to Jenny <laughs> so, and you are pushing this, Lavi because you are doing it. Whilst in this position, you can just be rotating your head slowly and be breathing as well good <laughs> guys stop <laughs> the guys behind the camera now stop. you go to the other side okay. johnny and kawawa stop <laughs> <laughs> now quickly bring your hands to the side and hold it from your back stretch it down gazing up your chin up Go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we get a microphone here? There's something going on. Gaze up. Good. Now slowly, I mean, bend your knee forward and then bring your butts up. Bella, you've bent your knees too much. Good. Now bring your hands up. Good. Huh? Yes. 
Just stay there for a few breaths. I can't hear you breathing, Bella and Cookie. Good. Now release your hand to the mats. Good. This, you're going to flat your back to stretch your back. So flat your back meaning you're chesting out by lifting your head up. Good. You feel the stretch, Bella? Yes. Good. I Relax feel there. I'm so I'm when you feel the stretch, oh. just breathe. Bring all the stress out. Good. Now walk your hand forward. Good. And stretch into a downward dog, bringing your forehead either on the mat or gazing toe in between your legs. Like that. She gaze in between her legs. Yes. Like this? Or put your forehead down to flat it. Yes. Like that. What will we like be the... looking at? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> bring your knees on the mat. Okay. Just relax. Bring your knees on the mat. Okay. Good. So we're going to do cat and cow. And with this exercise, we have a variation for it for the office. Okay. This actually works your upper body. Okay. It stretches your upper body. Okay. Now, before you do that, you need to just wind slowly to the left. Hey. Is this my. Yes. Please, which way? And bring it to the hey. right. Okay. You are just warming up forward, side, slowly, back. When you're taking it back, you have to drop your waist in. Good. Okay. And take it to the right. Hey, where's right? <laughs> right. Forward. My waist is too better. Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't forward. forget to engage your core. Okay. Side. Good. Now slide your hands forward by putting your chest down on the mats. <laughs> <laughs> Relax your chest. So, since you are home, if you don't feel, Ooh, if you are help home, you. if you are home, let me and help you. Since, okay, sure. Okay. Look, you are doing so well. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Girl. Yes, baby. Yes, yes. So, yes. Bella, let me do the pose. So, in this position, in this position, uh -huh. if you feel you want to challenge yourself more, uh -huh. in fact, the best way to actually bring your butt back. Making sure alignment is very important okay. during yoga. So you make sure your knee is directly under your hip. Mm -hmm. And then since you are home, Bella, slide your hand straight. Good. Mm. And good. And then bring good. Awesome. Relax there. So since you are home, those who chest cannot actually touch the mat. You can put a pillow here. Okay. And then and this is actually good for you. So me as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you mm. can't sleep at night. So just relax there and then slowly slide it back into table position. <laughs> good. Okay. Again, you make sure your hand is directly under your shoulders. Okay. Good. Now, slowly bring your right hand up here. Good. Left hand, tread the needle. Bring it all the way through. Make sure you twist. Ooh. Like that? Yes, like that. Just relax in it. You enjoy it. Slowly bring it up and take it all the way up. Ooh. <laughs> Bella, let's get to it. Hey, Good. Okay. Don't take it too far. Good. Okay. We take it in again. Ooh. Now, this we are working on our upper body. Okay. Don't forget to breathe. Take it up. <laughs> take it up. Good. Now, bring your hands down and switch. Bring in the left up. So this one Good. Up. Yes, good. Now, we take the right, slide it in. Breathe. Okay. Bring it up. Ooh. You can stay in the twist for as long as you can since you are home. Five counts, ten counts. It's all up to you. Good. Take it in. Out. Bring your hands to the mat into table position. Ah. Good. Are you <laughs> At this point, you just lift your knee up into plank. You come into plank position. Okay. Good. And then bring your butt up into a downward dog. Good. So bring your head up and just put your hip on the mat, lifting your upper body up, chesting out. Oh, good. I like that. So bring it out, breathe like that, good. <laughs> Slowly bring your butt up into a child pose or puppy pose. Slide your hand back. Did you say puppy pose? Puppy pose, yes, puppies. Okay. 
<laughs> Slowly lift, lift your knee up again. No, no, it's puffy. <laughs> lift your knee up again. Cookie, let's get to it. Lift your knee up. Go. Gaze down into downward dog. <laughs> Bring your head up. Put your hip down into upward facing dog. Make sure you squeeze your glutes and breathe. <sighs> <laughs> Good. Come to your knee and slide. Rest in the puppy pose. Puppy pose again. Good. Do you need a pillow for this one? You can, yes. You Good. can put it on your bust area if you can touch. Good. Now slide it, lie down, flat. <laughs> Good. Now the next one. Yes, 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 actually. <laughs> the guys in the studio today, they are just Could something you else. You go with your top. Yeah. Okay. Now, the next one is for those with back issues okay. and the lower back. The, I used to have this Dix herniation client who comes that the, their doctors has you know, recommended yoga for them. So this is just one simple exercise you can be doing slowly at your own pace, uh -huh. okay, to actually ease the pain around your back and your lower I mean back so you just lie down straight stretch out your legs and your hands make sure you engage every muscles good lift both hands up squeeze your glutes press your hip down on the mat lifting the leg up together with the hand good slowly relax Ooh. Two more we go. This is nice. Make sure you point your toes. So when you squeeze your hip down, you can feel the stretch around your waist area. Good. If you can go further, you can just lift your upper body up more. Good. Slowly come down. Good. Now we are lifting the right and the left leg up. So like that. Ooh, that's painful. This is actually good Ow. for your back. So anyone with back and waist issue at home, you can just do this. Slowly drop it, switch okay. to the other side. Uh -huh. Good, relax. Uh -huh. Now both legs and hands, let's go. Yeah, Point your toe, you feel like flying, right? Yeah. Good, slowly drop it. <laughs> Good, one more time. Um, right hand and left leg. Left. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> Let's switch. <laughs> and I'm here just standing black stuff. Switch, 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 switch. Good. Slowly bring your hands up. Bring your butt up into table position again. Okay. Good. Adjust if you feel your knee is not directly under. Good. So at this point, make yourself sit on your heels. Good. Like I said, we have variation of cat and cow. You can sit on your heels like this, open the knees out slightly. Good. And then you just go like that. Round your back. This is actually also good for back oh. issues. Now bring your chest all the way out. Mm. Open your chest out. Pulling your thigh, if you can touch your knees, fine. You can be pulling it. Good. You can either hold your hands behind and just be pulling. Round your back again. So again, you can hold your hands forward and just round it to give you that stretch, the soothing stretch. Chest out. Go all the way out. And this is all for your back? Yes, for your back. Now slowly hold your elbows like that. Bring it to the mat. Now posture, okay. Whatever position you find yourself in, make sure you don't round your back unless you are into a transition pose that you quickly transition. So you have you transit to arch your back. You have, thank you. You have to flat your back. Good. Now slowly release the right hand, leaving the left hand elbow down good lift it all the way up like we did with the tread and needle it shouldn't go too much it should be directly under your shoulder okay. slowly drop it why do you have to it's 
It's like you keep doing this to your mm -hmm. palm. Right. Any reason for that? Yes, because, I mean, you engage the fingers as well so that the blood can circulate every part of your upper body. Oh, I see. Good. So you switch. Don't forget to chest out to feel the stretch at your back. Bring it down. Okay. One more time. We go. Now, whilst in this position, don't forget to drop your waist in. Switch. Ooh. Slowly. Yeah, bro. Cookie. <laughs> oh, I am. Now you rest in the puppy pose again. Here's mama. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny wishes Good. he was here. <laughs> so Johnny, there is another. <laughs> there is another. I mean, pose that you can do for your back when you are at home. Okay. Um, which you actually either need a wall or you can just imagine a wall. Okay. Mm. So if, for instance, the wall is behind you, mm. you just bring your right leg or left leg to the side and then lift the left one facing forward like this okay. so you you be like this so like this and like this. thank you so you make sure your knee is really straight aligned with your feet okay okay good so when you do this you just twist your upper body to face forward okay. oh okay. so already you'll be feeling some stretches at your back yeah good so at this point you just lift your hands up Remember, there is a wall behind you. So you sink your hip in and then bend slightly as if you are just trying to touch the wall behind you. Stay for a few breaths. And then slowly bring your butt back, releasing the hand. Good. You switch to the, <laughs> you switch to the other side. So like this. Like so, that. So me, like, which way am I turning right now? <laughs> <laughs> so follow us now. I mean, use the same leg so that we all I okay, mean, turn okay. to the same okay. size. So use the same. Okay. okay, good. So make sure you twist. Awesome. Lift the hands up. Sink the hip in. Now try to touch the wall behind you. Good. Slowly release it, madam. Good. Madam, Madam, I need water. <laughs> <laughs> now, since we are still on the home exercise, one last exercise for your home, you can pick a broomstick. Hey, you know that? No, not not the our local broom, okay. but the the brush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, the stick, the okay, long yeah. stick. Okay. Or uh, it depends on your height. Say, Bengut, if 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 um, uh, Bangkula, that is your height. It's you for can... short people. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> for short people so you can use it like Chantel and <laughs> so you can just for men I mean, and I'm, AJ. Sure, I'm sure the men would love that one as actually okay. so with the broom the brush just let's just imagine Should we get you a brush okay yeah do we have anything you just remove the stick or a microphone stand yeah anything no let me just imagine right, it. let's let me just imagine it so you just put it I mean at your shoulder and then wrap your hand around oh, you it you mean good morning Okay. <laughs> so you just wrap your hand around the broom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I know now, that one. Keep it straight. <laughs> <laughs> so with the broom, like for those who have back issue, once you wrap your hand around the broom, it just it actually adjusts your back. Yes. Oh, and your spine becomes really, I mean, at a good, I mean, position. Okay. So at that point, you can stay there for for like ten breath counts and okay. just relax there. You don't even have to do any yeah. movement. You just stay there. Keep your hands straight. You know the broom is really yeah. firm. Good. Now slowly, when you are ready, mm. you twist, bringing your right hand like that. Keep it straight to the mat like that. Gazing up towards your hand. Now we are still having the broom, so it's keeping you straight. Your oh. posture. Good. Stay there for a few breaths. We twist to the other side. Keep it straight. Remember, we are working with the broomstick. Now stay lean forward, and then just keep it straight like this. Good, drop your waist in. If you have a knee issue, you can bend it slightly. Don't lock it. Good, chest out, because the broom is actually doing all the work. Good. Now slowly lower it down, 
Ima, remember we are using the broom. Good. Okay. And just breathe ah. there. <laughs> Bella, don't fall on me. <laughs> now slowly come up. <laughs> so this is something you can actually be doing at home. Bella, are you okay? <laughs> Good. So these are simple exercises you can actually be doing, not anything <laughs> vigorous you can be doing at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And we can do all these like the office poses as well, no. right? Okay. No. So let's because do a few office poses. Yes. Yeah. If you give us just two Ooh. minutes, uh, Good. And Daniel. A few office poses. For those who are at work here. Yeah. Good. I I I really want to talk about the chair first of all. Okay. okay. Because I I I. I have a lot of clients with back issue, and when I ask the nature of where, how, where they work, yeah. it's, it's all, I mean, sitting in the office for long hours, trying to meet deadlines and all that. Now, first of all, the office chair, I don't know if we have one here. We do. There's Please. one right in front of us. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> puppy pose. Good. That's what Johnny likes, the puppy pose. <laughs> so the office chair is designed like this. We want to stretch out here. Good. This is an office chair. And as we can see, it goes like this and then goes in. Okay. Now, every part of the chair plays a role in your body. Okay. Okay. I, I, you have to make sure you make use of every part of this chair. That way you are actually sitting well. It doesn't matter how tired you are because trust me, it is some of the tiredness and the aches and the frustration that we feel mostly is from the wrong posture so when it happens like that you don't function at work mm -hmm. properly now some people just sit at the tip of it and then right. lean forward to work some also when they are tired or when they are writing and taking a note or a minute they just lean on the side mm -hmm. putting pressure on the spine mm -hmm. which is wrong now what you need to do is to just go all the way back and bring your bum in the hole. Now you round your back here, like that. This is how you're supposed to sit the whole sit. day. No, wait. Okay. Now, see, my legs are hanging. Okay. Okay. So you just adjust. If you feel you are not tall, you just adjust the chair. Because your, your, your legs have to touch the floor. Your leg has Oops. to be very, it's still, it's still hanging. You see, it means so, I'm very short. So Thank you. Are you are very short. <laughs> yes. This chair wasn't made for you. You are too short. Thank you. So if you find yourself in this position as I am, okay, you find something to put your legs on. At least heels. If you're wearing heels, then Heels fine. is fine. Okay. But still, if your heels can still not touch, I mean, so you have to put something then down you to, to put just your feet a box, on. like a paper A4 paper box or something and then rest make sure your legs are firmly okay and then if you feel that you are far from the decks you just pull yourself okay so that you go right under, under. okay that way you are properly seated and then you it avoids need you don't need to lean forward okay and these are some of the I mean the, the problem we face is and then when you end up having back issue, you tend to blame the chair. Yeah. HR will keep changing the chair for you. You still be having the same problem and consistency. You start having spondylosis, mm. which okay. is the problem with the spine. Which is the problem with the spine. Mm. So when you feel tired or if you already have, I mean, back issue in the office, you can still hold the chair, the cut and cow that we did. You just hold it. You were asking me how do you stretch in this? In the office, yeah. Yes. So you just hold it like this and then chest out. Chin up. Mm -hmm. And this shouldn't take long. Okay. You round your back. Good. And then with the tread and needle that we did on the mat, you hold your knee. You go chest and out. Oh, you can do that while sitting there. Thank you. In your suit. Okay. But if your suit is too tight, I beg you, take it off. Take it off, yes. <laughs> so that we don't hear any crack. Oblite, oblite. You, you <laughs> can't hear sure whatever you do on one side, you repeat it on, on the, the other. Oblite, you can't same, do this. And the same count that you did on that side, you do. And then the last, because you're in the office, you are working, just the simple one. And then, of course, if you have a wall, this is what you need to do. You put this side. You'll be facing this is the wall you just be facing this way mm. and then you put the side there like that so that you and can then stretch good. out so as if you're hugging the wall but from the side you are like this so your whole chest like this whole side has to be leaning on the wall thank you this whole side will be leaning on the wall and with your hips and your leg so you go like this what does it do for your back yeah I can it's, feel it's, it. it's, it's it's actually i can feel it on my side good yeah. it works on your back 
Ooh. Okay, because normally when you have to get up in the, the office, uh. tired, 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 and you go back to stay in the um, traffic before you get home. So you stay like this, and then as if you're hugging the wall like this, you make sure it's just your hip that is okay. touching the hall, the wall, the wall and, and then, then you bring this hand all the way as if you're taking it back. Oh my God, this is really good exercise, soothing your back. You finish, oh. you actually you do the same twist thing. on the other side, and you're good to go to continue your work. That's nice. We, we have to go. But just for the sake of people who've not seen her Should I take it out? into something unusual. <laughs> Bella, we miss Bella, we miss seeing Bella, her. Bella, just, just, me just, just, just like two seconds, three seconds. Yes. Show us, because I know you're able to turn yourself to into. Yes. So you just show us a bit of that quickly. Anything. And so this, this, show us one. this takes years for you to be able to twist the way Well, it depends on the individual. You know, our bones are, you know, built in different, different ways. Some are flexible because they don't work on it. So yeah. some people, it may take a week or two, mm. some to a year or two. So it depends on... Show us how flexible you are. Yes. Show, show us. us. Show, show, us. Oh. show us. 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 Let's go, baby girl. Okay. okay. Something. So me, I usually do yoga fitness. So okay. I just go all the way. Plank. Lift. Oopsie. Oops. It's okay. It's okay. Stay down. I'll hold it for you. Don't worry. The no, hip. Just put it down. Just, just leave it on the floor. <laughs> you rotate. I see. And then you go. This is Ooh. what I've been trying to do. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's try it and see. Can I? Yeah. 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 This is yeah. the farthest so I can go. Beginner, yes, good. Hey, you this are is good the learning. farthest see, I can go. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. last time for, my, for, for a beginner, Ooh. you bring your hands, you don't start from the top, you bring your hands to the side. Just like Bella has done. Just yes. like that, to control so how painful. far you go. So if you feel any piercing, stabbing pain, mm. you just stay, you come out, either oh, come okay. out, if so unbearable, you just come out of okay. it. But if it's yes, continue, we want to see. Oh. We, you do that twist. Continue, we want to see. I know you're able to put your leg under something, yes. your hand under something, we and want all that. To see. We, just, <laughs> we just want to see. Help you. We just, just want to see. We have only five, ten seconds to go. Ten seconds. Okay. Go, okay. Kofa. Okay. Let's see let's what go, she let's got. Go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Just show us something for fun. Everybody, watch. <laughs> okay. So my leg on something. Oh, oh no, I know, I know you're able to twist your body in a very interesting okay. way. So, I'm just so um, because I have it. a mic at my back, I would just go to a plank. Like I said, I normally do yoga fitness. Okay. And then I walk up like this. I twist. Mm -hmm. It is the, this one. No? <laughs> Before we get here. So you come out wow. in a plank again. You come. Okay. Uh, anyway, Kofa, how can we get in touch with Fantastic. you? Fantastic. You can find me on Instagram, Kofa, K O K O R P H A okay. underscore. Okay. Yes. On YouTube, Kofa without the underscore, and then Facebook, just Kofa without the underscore. Okay. All right. And you do this class often, right? So yes. how often do you do your class? I do it twice in a month for now, but okay. mostly uh, private sessions from Monday to Fridays, oh. all private sessions. You go to people's I homes? I go to people, even offices. Wow. Yeah. Any numbers to call you on? Is there my number out okay there. don't worry it's fine well you can get in touch with her <laughs> on social media uh, on, on social, social media. i thought you had like a professional number i do but yes zero two four two five eight eight six six three okay All take right. it again zero two four two five eight eight six six three oh, i won't lie i feel ready. some baking, uh, pain in my back yes one tip i want to give I is that whenever you are sitting still. down just make sure you are sitting on your bum that's all on your bum, you don't sit on your tailbone. When you sit on your tailbone, you tend to round your back like this. And then my last word, if you have a back issue, don't sit on a stool. Like oh. a kitchen stool. A kitchen stool or any kind of stool that doesn't have a backrest. Oh. Don't sit on it. Yes, if you sit on a sofa and you feel there is a space around your waistline, please put a, a pillow. Pillow, pillow around that area. Oh, okay. And you are good to go. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kofa. You're welcome. This has been good. And Yahoo and Johnny, you are supposed to be here with us. You are supposed yes. to be here with us. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, health and lifestyle session. And we'll come again with some more next week. But this is Kofa, and she's run myself and Cookie through some yoga lessons. Try it at home, try it at work, wherever you find yourself. Stretch, it's important. We'll be back for some entertainment.